Today we'll be installing this Wemu uh, smart light switch. This is a three-way switch that's HomeKit compatible. So this is the box that comes in. I'll show you that before I go ahead and install it and set it up. It comes with an installation guide and instructions on how to properly wire it. Here we have the light switch itself. Um, the plastic front plate snaps off like so. Then we have the home kit ID here on an off switch here and then we do have a little sticker telling you a warning about electric shock. Alright, and once you get this warning sticker off, which is on pretty well, uh, we have the wires. And again, we have the home kit number here in the front. So the first one, the red one, we have the Traveler 2. The blue one's going to be Traveler 1. Uh, the black one's going to be the liner load. The white one, you are going to require a neutral in your light um, box, so make sure you have that first and then the ground. Uh, so that's pretty much it. It should simply go in. So let me go put that in uh, and replace my three-way light switch. Okay, so I've uh, shut off the power to my hallway. This is where this is going. This is a four-way um, light setup. So the first thing you're going to want to do is find the three-way light. So with the four-way, there's going to be two three-ways and one uh, four-way. The one I wanted to use was downstairs, but I couldn't because there was no neutral wire. So you do got to make sure that there's a neutral wire and mine's in here tucked away. Uh, also, I have a little load tester, so able to test that there's no power going to any of the wires. Um, so the first thing you want to do is identify your hot wire or your common wire. Uh, and in the instruction book, they give you a little uh, sticker so you can put on the thing. Uh, typically, you'll find it on the side here. It's this black one, or it also says common right here on the side. So let me go ahead and unscrew that one. And while I'm doing that, uh, as you see, it's a two-way one, so I'm going to have to use a different plate than whatever was included with uh, the actual switch. The so first thing I'm going to do is take off the common. And then using their sticker, which is here, I'm going to label it. You don't have to label it, but why not? They provided a little sticker for it. So we have this wire. And then the next two wires are going to be the travel wires. Screw those. Use the background noise, my dog's down there chewing on something. Alright, so we have the wires there. Probably going to want to straighten those out. Uh, and you might have to clip them. Go ahead, try to make them as straight as possible. All right, so now what we want to do is go ahead and install the switch. What I forgot to mention that they're inside, uh, inside there's some wire nuts uh, that are included, so. We'll pull those out and we'll start 
connecting the wires. So I'll just go in order. So we have one travel wire here. And we have the nut here. The wire seems a little too long, so let me clip it. And now just simply simply twist the, the nut on and it should be tight and then the wires should be secured. So I'm going to continue that process with the other travel which should be this other black one. And it's a little too long, so give that one a clip. All right, the next one we have the load, which is the black one, which we have identified with that little sticker. Load are common. And then we have the neutral and the ground. So like I said, these, uh, you have to find inside. My neutral is gonna be here and then my ground is also in the box. So seeing how this one has four wires on it, I think that wire nut, the wire nut they supply is going to be too small. So I'm going to get a bigger one. I had a couple laying around the house. So I'll go ahead and put this one on as well. And then lastly, cotton one. And I'll just be using the wire nut that's included. That was with the house. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, it's now set up. Let me tuck the wires in nicely uh, and power it on and show you how to set it up on the app. Okay, so I put it all back together now. Uh, I put the front plate on. And you can see it's blinking blue. That means it's ready to be set up with uh, your Wi-Fi connection. But to show you that it turns on and off, you can hear it click. Uh, so let me move on, move on to the phone and show you how to set that up on the app. Okay, so here the last thing we're gonna do is uh, set up the switch with the app. We do have to use their app, I believe, to set this up. So let's go ahead and launch it. And then on the bottom here, we're gonna click on more. Add a device. You pick whatever device you're installing or setting up. In this case, it's gonna be the light switch. It asks you which one do you have. And in this case, it's the second gen. It's asking you to have the code ready, uh, which I have here in the book. Or like I said, you can just do it from the actual switch. So we'll go to connect. Is it installed? Yes. Is it blinking blue? Yes. So next it's telling us to go and look for a Wi-Fi network that looks something like this. So I'm gonna to go to my settings and find that network. which is gonna be this one here. So we'll go ahead and connect. And once it's connected, we're supposed to go back to the app to finish the process. So 
So it should be connected now. We'll go back. Let me confirm that it is connected. So it's saying it's connected, but it's not showing up on top of my status bar. Oh, there we go. Now it says it's connected on my status bar. So let me try to go up here and then back to the app. And it's automatically connecting it now. So it's asking you if there's another light switch on this circuit. Uh, and in this case, I did not. So it's only one. It's telling you to name it. It's going to be my hallway light. Hit done. Uh, next. And there we go. It's ready and ready to go on the app. So it's not yet set up with HomeKit. So to do that, you have to go to more. It says connect our smart to home partners. And we're gonna do HomeKit app. And then it's gonna hit get started. It's gonna tell us which one, and it's gonna be this one, connect. I already have the other two connected. Then it confirms if you wanna add it, you go to continue. and it's ready to go. You pick whatever you want. Uh, include it in your favorites or whatnot. Hit done. And you should be able to find it in your home app now. I'm not sure why they asked you to have the code if it didn't even use it, but it must be if you're doing it through the actual home app. But there it is. Um, have my highway hallway light here, which I can turn on and off now. But there you have it.